not as you know it. No helmets, no pads, no timeouts. Oh. Hi, I'm Paul Barry, and get ready, America. Here come some real men playing real footy. In the entertainment capital of the world, Las Vegas. This is the greatest sport ever invented. Yes, the greatest game ever, if only America knew. Which is why the NRL and its mates at Fox Sports and News Corp are gambling on a high-stakes, multi-million dollar trip to Vegas to showcase the game to American punters. As in, Americans who bet on sport. It could generate tens of millions, if not hundreds of millions, over a period of time. Well, he won't die wondering. And the NRL chairman is confident that Rugby League can conquer the US sports betting market with its five-year gamble. We know uh, how to promote the game and we've promoted it exceptionally well in, in America so far. So. How's it going? Do you know what rugby league is? Rugby league? Yeah. Of course. It's a league for rugby. How about the New Zealand black? All black. Hmm. But education is all part of the charm offensive. It must be said, Hugh, the players are endearing themselves to the American people. They sure are. Howdy, partner. Remain in the vehicle. Need you to remain in the vehicle. Hey, you got to laugh. But it's not just Aussie hunks who are spruiking the game. Rob Gronkowski, a.k.a. Gronk, is a four-time NFL Super Bowl winner, and he likes what he sees. All right, here we go. Oh, he just got double trucked. I don't think I would ever do that without pads. Even if he does call the game rugby. What do you call a touchdown in rugby? Ooh, that's stiff arm. That's beastly. Get off me, boy. Get off me. Yes, that is beastly. And so is Las Vegas, with the telly warning our innocent league stars to avoid the traps of sex and sin city and dark temptations of alcohol, drugs and sex romps. Ha! You can trust our lads. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? But, um, as the Prime Minister says... Good on them. They're having a crack. So, will they succeed? Will it be as explosive as a jigger of nitro and glycerine? We'll see. But it's not the first time that Rugby League has tackled America with dollars in its eyes. And as that former rugby player Peter Fitzsimons wrote in the Herald, after 100 years of trying in Australia, Rugby League has barely moved far beyond two states. But a couple of matches in Vegas means you can start to move on the US itself. Please. In other words, don't believe the hype. But when it comes to wishful thinking, Rugby League is in a league of its own.